In wake of Bo Bichette's recent knee injury that he suffered yesterday night, the Blue Jays have quickly moved to acquire shortstop Paul DeYoung from the St. Louis Cardinals in exchange for minor league righty Matt Swanson. As always, you guys know the drill. Hit that like button, subscribe. Lots of trade online content coming for you guys today. And yeah, let's get right into it. Paul DeYoung this season is having a a rough season but i guess his batting average is exactly the same as his career hitting 233 with 13 home runs 32 rbis and a 710 ops for his career 233 average 115 home runs 338 rbis and a 731 ops for some reason i always remember paul de young being better yeah i remember paul de young his rookie year in 2017 where he hit 285 of 25 home runs since then his batting average has tended to dip um, he hit 233 with 30 home runs in 2019 when he made the All-Star team, but really hasn't had the same production. This season is a huge bounce back from the last couple of seasons. 2021, he hit 197. Last season, 157, 6 and 77 games. But 233 with 13 home runs is a big bounce back. He plays about average, maybe a little bit below average defense, and you, in, he's going to be a, probably a end of the order bat for you guys that has a little thump especially against the new york mets now matt swanson i'm gonna say because his name has a v instead of a w i don't know how to say that um this season between two teams uh high a and a ball he has a 1-1-1 era in 32 and a third innings pitched 39 strikeouts to 11 walk bringing his whip down to point 928. He's unranked in the Blue Jays organization is likely going to impact the cardinals bullpen at some point within the next couple of years He's 24 years old and is 6'5", 235. So I imagine with those kind of numbers, he throws hard. He limits the hits a lot. I mean, a fair bit of walks, 11 walks and 32. So, I mean, one every three innings, three walk for nine. That's that's work, work aroundable. Now, for Paul DeYoung, clearly struggled, didn't have his the value he would as a rookie. And I think that ultimately for a rental that I don't think you're eating the buyout. I believe you're just paying the money the rest of the season. Cash is going to the Blue Jays in this deal, by the way. Um, I think that this is really good. A high upside reliever is probably a very good move for the Cardinals, especially someone 25 years old will likely impact them probably I'd expect sometime next season. But I want to know what you guys think about this trade in the comment section below. Overall for the Blue Jays, you had to make this move. A, for you guys, considering circumstances, you cannot go without a shortstop, especially with Bo Bichette if he's out for a significant amount of time. Getting Paul DeYoung was the right move. For the Cardinals, you probably could have gotten a little bit more. Um, just for relievers, a little worrisome. So I'm going to give you guys probably a C plus on this trade. High upside, so that's what I like about this. Let me know what you guys, like I said, in the comment section below. Hit that like button, subscribe. Come back for more videos. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. It's delicious.